Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to talk about the clay soil structure as well as the interaction between clay particles. The structure of a soil is taken to mean both the geometric arrangement of the particles, which is referred to as a soil fabric, as well as the interparticle forces which may act between them. In granular or cohesionless soils, the interparticle forces are very small, so both the fabric and the structure of gravels, sands, and to some extent silts are the same. So if I was to demonstrate this in other words, we have the structure of a soil, comprising of both the soil fabric and interparticle forces. And in the case of granular soils, we can ignore the interparticle forces. So in fine-grained cohesive soils, the interparticle forces are very large, and thus both these forces and the soil fab fabric must be considered as the structure of the soil. The single most important factor influencing the final structure of a clay soil is the electrochemical environment existing at the time of the clay sedimentation. Let's now talk about clay particle interaction. There are forces which act between adjacent clay mineral particles, these being forces of repulsion and attraction. An example of a repulsion, repulsion force experienced by clay particles is electrostatic forces. And these occur between the like charges of clay particles. An example of an attraction force is hydrogen bonding. and also van der Waals forces.